Okay guys, so this is my next one and it's one that kind of pained me to delete in the first place and I'm glad that I have a chance though and I'm taking the time to redo these um, because this one is my favorite. Desert Rain is a prickly pear tropical fruit e-juice that I personally think is phenomenal. The flavor is complex at the same time being simple enough to where it's not something that's overpowering. There's a lot of a creamy flavor to it. Plenty of creamy flavor to it. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but I have to say it's definitely there. Prickly pear is this fruit that is a cactus fruit, right? A round little gourd about like that. And it is, it's this watermelon and kiwi and strawberry and just myriad of flavors inside of one little, one little fruit. And Mountain Baker Vapor did a phenomenal job at at landing on that flavor. It's a morning vape to sit down with some coffee and enjoy and get and get your day kind of started. Like I actually po posted on Twitter that the first vape of the morning is a very important vape. Um, at least for me, I think it is. It's that one time that you get that, your taste buds get the the first kick, so I get I get some coffee and enjoy a little bit of coffee and then grab my vape and take a vape and deal with whatever else I have to deal with because I smoked for, for years, so there's some side effects that I deal with from that. But, um, you know, that first vape at the beginning of the day and that prickly pear being the desert rain is, is this wonderful vape to sit down with, with a little bit of tea or some coffee at the end of the day. I can drink coffee at the end of the day. I know some people can't. I have no problem doing that and then passing the heck out. So you get this creamy taste. You get this flavor that is very distinct to its own self. And you get that kiwi which is really, really nice, and it has almost a peachy flavor to it. Altogether, the flavor as far as the, the des uh, Desert Rain is concerned, I think, it, I think it nails it really well. Um, for, for, for what I think, from what the, for like, the, the, from what the flavor profile that I understand, is supposed to be and how things are supposed to taste, I think it nails the image that I have in my head. Um, and with how Mount Baker Vapor does such a great job at replicating flavors into their e-juice and doing it really solidly aside from Fruity Hoops, it's really good. But what it is, is it's a very light flavor. It's something for that wine, excuse me, it's something for that wine down at the end of the day. It's something to enjoy in just kind of taking it and taking a load off. It's not something that's overly robust. It's not something that is in your face saying, hello, good morning, or whatever. It's something to calmly start and end. That's how I enjoy it. I think that it's a great flavor. I, I find it very enjoyable. So, I realize that I keep looking, I have to just turn the camera. I, um, at the end of the day, what I think this vape really needs to have different about it is they need to be selling them in bigger bottles. <laughs> I, I think it's, I think it's, uh, I think it's a solid one. I think it's one that, uh, as long as the community, you know, buys it enough, it's going to be one of those things that's that bestseller juice. Um, as long as, as far as the community is concerned, as far as I think, I, I'm going to order more, and I think that it's a solid bait, and I think if more people order it, it's just going to be that flavor that other people get to enjoy for a long time. 
It's not going to be one of those things that's, hey, we're trying to get rid of our stock. Uh, this was a flop. I think it's going to be a good juice. Um, so, yeah, that's my opinion on it. I think it's a great vape. So, pick it up. Get some Desert Rain. Let it steep for about a week. About a week is pretty good for it.